Hello, Ray Phoenix here, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X Part 1. Now, this game is not Mega Man 11. This is the start of an entirely new Mega Man series. Mega Man finally made his transition to the SNES after having six games on the original NES. And this is not the same Mega Man we saw on those NES games. This is an entirely new character they made for this new series called Mega Man X. So someone named Dr. Kane is logging into this computer thing. This is by far the strangest video game intro I've ever seen to any video game ever. This is a computer screen telling us all about Mega Man X's specifications. So that's Mega Man X. He's a hero of this game. He's the new Mega Man. He's obviously modeled after the original classic Mega Man from way back in the NES era. But he's new and highly upgraded. And he has so many new powers and things like that that classic Mega Man could, you know, never... Be capable of you know possessing. So he has an interior skeleton, and you can see his, his armor reduces damage by ninety three percent. And this part's really annoying. Warning: X is the first of a new generation of robots, which contain an innovative new feature: the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous if X were to break the first rule of robotics. A robot must never harm a human being. I'm glad they wrote they acknowledge I, robot. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 1820XX. T. Light Thomas Light. Yes, the Mega Man X is built by Dr. Light, the same guy that built the original Mega Man from way back in the day. So now it's far to the future. Mary, Dr. Light is dead. All of our people have known from back in the day, back in the original Mega Man, are long dead. It's 100 years later. And now there's the new Mega Man, Mega Man X. This game is set, on, I guess, 100 years after the classic Mega Man series. This evil robot dictator named Sigma wants to rid the world of mankind, and he has these evil robots called Mavericks that, are true, that want to you know, rid the world of mankind, and only Mega Man X and his, and his allies, the Maverick Hunters, can go and take out these evil Mavericks and save mankind. Yeah, mankind is on the, is on the brink of extinction, and their only hope is Mega Man X. So this is the first, this is another first step was introduced in this game. An intro stage, this game does have non-linear gameplay, just like the NES Mega Man games. But unlike the NES Mega Man games, before we can do the non-linear levels, we have to do an intro stage first, which is what this is. This is the stage introduces us to the game, introduces us to what's going on. The music is really good. I really love the soundtrack to this game. This game has one of the best soundtracks in the Mega Man franchise, especially this music right now. It sounds like you know you're in something awesome. Everything in the world of Mega Man X is all heavy metal sounding and all cool sounding. Man, heavy metal Mega Man X. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. So, I, um, I never actually owned a copy of this game back in the day. Well, I, I never owned a copy, any, like a physical copy of this game. That's because I never owned an SNES system way back in the day. The SNES is still considered to, to be, at least I consider it to be, the greatest gaming system that I never owned. I never owned an SNES, so I just got an emulator of it instead. As it turns out, this ROM that I'm playing this on right now, this is the exact same ROM, or the copy of the exact same ROM that I initially downloaded on May 1st, 2011, when I played this game for the first time ever. And I have tons of fond, nostalgic memories of way back then playing it then. And a few months later, I actually got this on the Mega Man X collection for the PS2. I found a copy of it factory sealed at a video game store that I visited in Ottawa when I went there on a family vacation way back in 2011. Yeah, 2011 totally was the year of Mega Man for me, at least. I played all the Mega Man games back then and beat all of them. And now, 12 years later, I'm taking my skills and bringing them to YouTube. I always wanted to. I mean, this is something... I mean, I watched a lot of the videos like this way back in 2011. And now, I'm doing exactly what people did 12 years ago. Are those people proud of me for making videos of, like, what they did? Or maybe they, or maybe I just seem like a, you know, like a copycat. I mean, I watched Nintendo Capri Sun a lot back then. I watched Clement J642 a lot back then. And... Now I'm pretty much doing exactly the same as what they did, only one different so my commentary is different from theirs, because I talk about things that they don't talk about. Like, this is Mega Man X. 
Mega Man is pretty much, this new Mega Man X, he's pretty much a ninja in this game. They could jump on walls, he could jump around things, he can dash forever, and there are upgrades in this game too. You see, I pretty much just think some sort of powerful ninja just uses an axe buster to shoot and blast down everything. Apparently people still use cars in the year 21XX, that I'm actually not surprised about. Cars are probably never gonna go away, they've survived so much stuff. They're almost like cockroaches, they've been around since before mankind existed, and they're probably still gonna exist long after mankind is long dead. So this big ship thing in the air is just throwing stuff down at us, and it's gonna send something at us. It knows, it knows that we have a... it knows how we're really powerful, and look at that, it's Boba Fett driving some sort of mech. Purple Boba Fett driving a powerful robot mech. Let's destroy this guy. Let's take him down. Our x buster should be powerful enough to take out this freak. Just shoot him a bunch of times. We're just trying to shoot Boba Fett off of him. I don't know. Boba Fett must be must not couldn't be that strong that we couldn't just blast him off of our x buster. Was constantly blasting him in the head. Just running by, shoot him a bunch of times. I think I know something's starting to spark off of him, but he still keeps gaining ground on us. I hope there's any- I hope there's some health refills or something we could get. Now look at that, our health is severely low, and look at that, we lost. He captured us in some sort of electric prison thing. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? And now we're introduced to Mega Man X's sidekick. Well, he's not really a sidekick, he's more like a superior, I think, to Mega Man X. It's Mega Man X's greatest friend, Zero. Just rescued us. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you're designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there later. X, I know you can do it. Yeah, and people could just beam out and warp away, like just like how that robot did in the classic series. So now here's the stage select screen. The first Maverick we're gonna go after is, of course, Chill Penguin, the easiest guy in the game. He's like the cut man of Mega Man X. He could murder this guy easy. He, he just goes down. He's like made out of paper mache. Sure, his attack plans are a little more, you know, in, they're more intricate than what Cut Man was capable of doing, but he still is a, is a wuss, pretty much. I really love the music in this level. As I said before, this game has a really awesome soundtrack, but the music in this level, it makes me think of, like, something, having something really good or having something really awesome and then suddenly losing it and then living in the void of losing that thing you absolutely love. That's what this music sounds like to me. That's the vibe. Those are the exact vibes I get from listening to this music. It sounds, like, really, like, well... Like, it sounds really well done. Really well. I can imagine an orchestra doing music, doing music like this. And there probably is some sort of, you know, like, a version like that, like an orchestra play playing the music from Mega Man X, that actually would be pretty cool, I think, and that might actually exist, probably, likely. This is a really popular game, this is considered to be one of the best Mega Man games ever, it's considered to be one of the best games on the SNES as well, too. This is the easiest and most simplest game in the Mega Man X series, that's how I'm able to play this game on a keyboard. Yeah, just like all my other recent Let's Plays, all I have is keyboards, and plays on a keyboard, so it feels more like 2011 again, because that's all I had for playing games back in 2011 was a keyboard. So I guess 2011 is back then in some ways. The good old days are back. That's what it feels like. That's what all my videos kind of feel like. I pretty much only play nostalgic classic games and people question me for that. Ooh, what's this? It's Santa Claus. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion, I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. This is the first upgrade in the game, and that's that ghost guy we were just talking to is Dr. Light. Same guy built classic Mega Man, he also built Mega Man X, and he just gave us a leg booster upgrade. Now we can dash forward. It's really cool in this game. If you fire your 
your X Buster while dashing forward. It's gonna do double damage. It's a pretty cool mechanic that this game had. And Mega Man X2, well, the sequel to this game also had that same mechanic. But they got rid of it after X2 for some reason. I know, maybe they thought it was overpowered. I think it's funny and people question why I don't play new modern games. Like, oh, what do you have against new modern games? I just don't like them that much. So why don't you play Call of Duty? If I haven't played Call of Duty, some people really question. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, like, it's like the people in my workplace often question me for stuff like that. Like, oh, how come you don't play this? How come you never drink alcohol? Because alcohol is bad for you. Kids aren't allowed to have it a lot of the time. So maybe adults shouldn't be allowed to have it either. That's kind of the logic I use of a lot of that stuff. I don't think kids should be playing stuff like Call of Duty. I never play Call of Duty and I don't really care about stuff like that. I'd much rather play a game that actually makes you think and has fun and action in it too, like Mega Man X. This game has some Donkey Kong stuff going on. Now, I remember before, like a, like a year ago, and I'd play classic Mega Man games on the NES, I'd often compare them to Donkey Kong, and this game definitely does have some Donkey Kong-like characteristics, where, where things are thrown after you, and you have to jump over them, and then and jump over enemies and stuff like that. There's, there's a lot of Donkey Kong in this game. And so here's the first Maverick in the game, Chill Penguin. He looks like a freak. He looks like someone that we could just easily take down for a simple X Buster. And I get a dash forward, which would do double damage against him. And the charge shot is, you know, like that we will see. He, a lot of the Mavericks in this game have like go into like what's pretty much overdrive mode when they become invincible essentially, and then they just and then none of your shots do anything. Sometimes Chill Penguin is cheap with this sometimes. He just does something, so no matter what you do, you none of your shots will ever do anything against him. But so far, we're murdering this guy. Chill Penguin's a wuss. He is the biggest wuss in this game. I mean, you think if he really was a penguin, he'd probably just use his beak and destroy us easy. But no, he's a wuss. He's also clearly dumb, too. He probably went to America's education system, so that's probably why he doesn't know how to use his beak as a weapon. And he just stands there a lot of the time like an idiot, thinking like we're going to seriously run into him. He is the dumbest. Shul Penguin probably is the dumbest Maverick in the entire Mega Man X franchise. Heck, he might even just be the dumbest robot in the Mega Man series, period. Maybe he doesn't really know it. He clearly doesn't know how to fight. He has no real attack patterns. He has no real nothing. So we killed him easy. We destroyed him. We obliterated him easy because we're Mega Man X. No one that goes against Mega Man X comes out alive, right? <laughs> So there we go, Chill Penguin is dead, and we're gonna, just like classic Mega Man, we're gonna pick up his weapon. And we actually do get a screen acknowledging that you have collected his weapon, you see? You get Shotgun Knife, yep, we got a new weapon, it acknowledges that we got a new weapon. And even demonstrates for us too at work, there's no, it's not like in Mega Man 1 where it's like, people didn't know you are getting a weapon because there's no screen, and there's a password screen. This is Ray Phoenix, signing out.